I was actually watching a house in Germany being built and I came back and I talked to Carla and said, they're building in a very different way than what I had seen before. And I started doing more research about passive house. And when we decided that we wanted to build the house back here, that's how we came to Wolfworks and met Jamie. The thing that impressed me from the beginning of Sean and Carla was their determination to realize a dream. And boy, this house is the result of that vision and their commitment and dedication to realizing it. One of his first designs nailed it. You know, we were like, this is exactly what we want. This is our absolute dream house. I mean, the size, the location, how comfy and cozy. From day one, it just felt like it was home. So. And they had a very distinct picture of what the right fit for them was. What's the right size house for folks so that every square foot is used? This is a really small home. It's about just over a thousand square feet. This one is a slab on grade construction and they've got the roof where they can put the photovoltaic panels. This is not rocket science. There's a few things you just have to get right. You have to make a thermal envelope that really slows heat loss. We do that with thick walls, but provide balanced heat recovery ventilation, which brings constant fresh air in without losing very much of the energy that we've worked so hard to preserve inside. We also build it high performing wind windows, triple glazing, oriented to the sun so they actually gain more heat than they lose. We then use very efficient equipment, but it's very small equipment. This house uses for all its energy for heating about 2,500 watts, about what a blow dryer uses. Sean and Carla's home has the lowest HERS index before PV of any of the homes, so they win that category and the HERS index is 31. It really attests to the extremely good envelope that they have and a, an optimal orientation where they were able to take advantage of solar gains from those south-facing windows. With the photovoltaic system on the roof, that takes them down to a HERS index of minus 22. One of the things that the homes did that is a little different as well is that they use uh, the Tesla power pack. So that is their backup power. That means that uh, should the grid go out, um, they will be able to manage that home uh, at least for some period of time using the battery backup power stored in those power packs. Eversource has always been a great partner in encouraging the kind of work we do. We were surprised that Eversource was sponsoring such a program. There are a number of benefits besides energy efficiency to houses like this, health, comfort, durability, but also sound. The triple glazed windows and the thick walls mean that it can be storming outside and you'll barely hear it. I think if you made a house that's energy efficient, but it's not comfortable to live in, then why do it? It's not just about, you know, a very low monthly bill. Um, you have to live in the house every single day and having it be comfortable is very important to us. Being in here, it's just like, oh yeah, the sun, yeah, the sun is, you know, moving the way it should move and there's no drafts the way you said there would be no drafts and the ventilation is working the way you said the ventilation is working and so seeing all those ideas, you know, come to life is amazing. I don't understand why more people don't, don't get do involved with this type of construction in the Zero Energy Challenge.